Hello loves, welcome back to Wander Tarot and if you are new to the channel, welcome. And I will be tapping into Sagittarius's energy for your love reading, you versus them, for June 2024. I am recording this after June, so this will be more of a confirmation of possibly what energies you and the person that was on your mind during the month went through. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so they might not resonate with you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for others. To the ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Sagittarius, thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them so far. I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Please let me be a channel to bring them the messages that are trying to find them at this time. During the month of June, how did the person on Sagittarius's mind see them? One card upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. What were their intentions with Sagittarius during the month of June, Spirit? What were their intentions? And what was the action that Sagittarius might have witnessed or that might be their next likely action going into July? Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, how did Sagittarius see the person that was on their mind during the month of June? What were Sagittarius' intentions with the person that was on their mind? And what advice did you send Sagittarius' way during the month of June regarding this connection, regarding this person? Or advice that you may have at this time for Sagittarius regarding this connection? Spirit Guides Universe. Sagittarius, during the month of June 2024, the person on your mind saw you as the Two of Pentacles. Spirit, can you clarify the Two of Pentacles for how they saw Sagittarius? The Three of Wands in reverse. They saw you in a space of not knowing what to do next, being indecisive. Spirit, why did they see Sagittarius like this? Four of Swords. Uh, so there may have been like an analysis paralysis. They witnessed you maybe going quiet. Maybe something came up here in conversation or you were not wanting to, maybe not having the energy to, not being ready to make some sort of decision or move in a particular direction. So that led them to see you in a space of feeling a little stuck. Maybe not knowing how to create some sort of balance for yourself. Maybe some exhaustion here and trying to weigh, weigh out some pros and cons about something. In regards to their intentions towards you during the month of June, we've got the sun. Spirit, can you clarify the sun for their intentions towards Sagittarius? You 
got the fool. So their intentions are to confidently start something here with you, to possibly bring in the sun here. They want to bring light into the situation. They want to bring optimism. There is a childlike energy in this. Maybe not necessarily planning. They're trying to... Their intentions are to confidently attempt to start something new here with you. With pure optimism. In regards that are next likely action or an action that you might have already observed, Sagittarius, during the month of June, we got the Eight of Cups. Spirit, why the Eight of Cups? Page of Cups. Their next likely action or an action that you might have witnessed was them walking away from maybe another offer. Maybe walking away from their beginner mindset of how they were going to offer. There's something here of this, this character's pouring out this cup and it's clarified by a younger mindset that is trying to look at the potential of the cup. So their next likely action is maybe a little contradictive here. It could be for some of you. Otherwise, it could be them declining another offer that is going towards them. Spirit is the Page of Cups, the person that's on Sagittarius's mind, or an offer that was... All right, so... It looks like the Page of Cups is the person that's on your mind, but it was clarified by the Moon Upright. Is this the offer that was towards Sagittarius? That they are walking away from? No. Is this them walking, them walking away from another opportunity? The person on Sagittarius' mind, is this them walking away from another opportunity? Yes. So I think they're trying to manifest something here with you. Their next likely action or something that you observed was them taking their offer away from another person. All right, so moving over to your energy, Sagittarius. The way that you saw the person on your mind during the month of June was the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Can you clarify the Ace of Pentacles? You've got the Tower in reverse. So you see the person on your mind as feeling like they possibly lost out on an opportunity. They missed some sort of, you see them as feeling uh, like they, that they missed a chance on something. You see them as not wanting something to come down. There's some sort of bad investment that you feel like they made that might be the offer that they put towards somebody else, which you might know about, which is why you may have taken a rest here trying to decide if this is something that you should be doing, if what they, how they see you is accurate. Um, why does Sagittarius see the person on their mind like that? The Five of Swords in Reverse.
they're not the last one standing. There's something here. They might have lost out on an opportunity or lost interest in an opportunity. You saw them, uh, they did something in regards to putting, changing some sort of attitude that led you to see them in a place of not really knowing where to start, how to start. You maybe have seen them not necessarily finishing up on something here. They didn't complete something all the way. Maybe your intentions towards them during the month of June was the hair font in reverse. Spirit, can you clarify the hair font in reverse here for Sagittarius' intentions during the month of June? The Eight of Cups. Your intentions were having to do with something of walking against the grain. Something about your personal beliefs during uh, versus what is right or wrong. Walking away from something here that you didn't feel was going to assist you in pursuing or understanding the dynamic or navigating. You kind of went against your own inner morals and values. There's some sort of intention here of blind faith, and maybe because of how they're showing up. It may be intriguing you. You may be interested in what else this person has to show you. In regards to the advice from Spirit regarding this person during the month of June that you might have picked up on is Two of Swords. Spirit, can you clarify the Two of Swords here for the advice that you sent Sagittarius' way? The Four of Pentacles. Not to decide the commitment yet. You don't have all the information yet, but you already seem to have picked up on that. You are going against what you would probably do in another type of situation or with anybody else. There's something here that you're doing different. Based on how you see this person, you're curious on their next move. You're curious on how they're going to make their next move in their own life or with you. There's a, an avoidance here that Spirit's um, kind of inspiring you to, it, Spirit's inspiring you to wait to make any sort of celebration too early. Don't celebrate too early. <laughs> Don't make a commitment quite yet. On that note, let me pull some advice and I'm going to pull a uh, archetype. Let's see if there's any guidance here from Spirit for you. Spirit, do you have any guidance for Sagittarius at this time regarding the connection that they had in June? The person that was on their mind during June? We've got the father. read you from the book what this card represents all right Sagittarius alongside the mother the father resides in the central axis of the archetypal the archetypal family the father embodies both light and dark aspects of the masculine, thus he is infinitely dynamic and complex. His energy is strong and regal, embodying such virtues as honesty, wisdom, and loyalty. Yet, ironically and simultaneously, the father is often absent, literally or emotionally. 
through absence or action. The father eventually reveals that he is neither a king nor a god, but a human being with many flaws and wounds. He is both the guardian and one who leaves us to the wolves. Here yet gone the champion and the failure, the father can never resolve or escape this duality. It is inherent inherent in the archetype itself. Witnessing the father's limitations allows the child to grow beyond the family and into the world. I think there's a reminder here from spirit to not feel the sense of failure if if this doesn't work out, if you don't get the information you feel you need, if you get the information that you wish was different. I think there's just this reminder of not putting weight on it. Like you're good with or without this information, you're good with or without this connection. I think spirit wants you to be gentle and kind with yourself, to be supportive. And by not jumping into a commitment without not without uh, not immediately believing in what somebody says versus what they do, you are supporting yourself in regards to being more strategic than spontaneous versus von- spontaneous. To kind of, I think Spirit's asking you to step up as some sort of uh, authority in your own life. And I think that you are already picking up on how you need to be careful because you are aware in your intentions, you are aware that you're kind of going against your own grain here to possibly give this person a chance, to possibly give them more time, give yourself more time to see what happens next. I'm going to go ahead and jump into your July reading and post that so that you have that, and Sagittarius, I hope that if this uh, does resonate, I'd love to hear how it does, I hope that it brought you some guidance in some shape or form, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment, I'll do my best to elaborate or help in any way that I can, and until next time, and always, sending you love, Sagittarius, you've got this.